Hi! Welcome back! In a previous video, we learned about pandas grouping mechanisms. These are the topics that we covered in that video. If you haven't watched it yet or are interested in learning more about these concepts, I'd suggest you check out that video as well. In this video, we're going to be exploring pandas operations. We'll learn about how to get column and row names, how to apply functions to columns. We'll learn about methods such as unique, and unique, sort values, sum, value count, and we'll work with missing and null values. Let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do as always is import um, two Python libraries, so pandas and numpy. So we're going to say import pandas as pd and import numpy as np. Next, we're going to create a data frame that we can work with to explore some of the pandas operations. So this data frame is going to be called df. Um, and then as always, we're going to say pd.dataframe and then um, just uh, parentheses. And then we're going to have a dictionary inside to indicate the column names and the values inside the data frame. So our column names are just going to be C1, C2, and C3. And our values, we're going to have 34, 45, and 34. And so the main thing in, in, in C1 is to have some repeating because we want to, um, that's one of the things we'll explore later on. Then in C2, um, you're going to include some uh, strings. So I just did A, B, and C. You can do whatever you'd like. And then C3 should just be um, some numbers. So I just did 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to run this and see how it looks. And as expected, we have um, uh, column names, C1, C2, C3, then indices, the default ones, and then all of our values um, inside. So the first thing we're going to see is how to get column and row names. So column names is pretty much um, df.columns, and it's going to give you um, a list of the column names. So C1, C2, C3. Now for rows, we just say df.index, and this will give you, um, it won't give you the names, but it'll give, it'll give you um, the information about the indexes. So we have a start, zero, stop, three, and step one. So that's pretty easy to figure out that it's going to be zero, one, two. And then uh, as always, we don't include the last um, number. So it, it stops at 2. So um, now we're going to look at how we can get the sum of um, values in a column. So if we want to get the sum of the values in column C3, then we just say df square bracket C3 dot sum, and it adds up 1 plus 2 plus 3 to get 6. Now we're going to look at how to apply functions to um, columns in a data frame. So as always, how you start a Python function is def, and then you have a, a name of the function that's um, explaining what it does. So this one is going to um, take x, whatever x is, to the power of 3. And so um, it's going to return x and then uh, asterisk, asterisk 3, which is x um, to the third power. So now we're going to apply it to um, the column C3. And so this is just going to be df square bracket c3 dot apply and then this function. And so it's going to apply this power three function to every um, value in the c3 column. So every value is going to act as x at a certain point. And it's going to power each one to the third power. So as you can see, 1827 is correct. So now we're going to look at um, how to get some info on how many times a value shows up. Um, so this one's going to be D1, square brackets, C1, and then value counts. And value counts is just going to give um, how many times each value in C1 is going to show up. And so since we have a repeating of 34, it shows it as 2, and then 41 is just going to be 1 because that only appears once. Now, if we want to get um, a list of the unique values in C1, we just say df.c1.unique. Um, and that's going to give a list of the unique values. And we know that's going to be 34 and 45. Um, and if we want to get kind of how many unique values there are, um, we, we just copy that and we just add an N for number of unique and we get two. So that's how many unique values there are in that particular column. Now we're going to look at how we can sort values by a particular column. Um, and we're going to do C1. So this basically just orders it in terms of C1. So 34 is less than 45. That's why those two are first. And um, it, it doesn't account for any of the other columns. It just looks at this one and it orders uh, everything based off of this one column that we've given it. Um, now we're going to see how we can work with missing or NAN um, kind of non-existent values. So what we're going to do here is we're going to copy and paste this data frame and just add in some um, 
non-existent or undefined values. So um, we're going to make this, instead of a 3x3, three three, we're going to make it um, a 3x4. So we're going to have um, 4, or sorry, it's going to be a 4x3. Three. So 3 columns still, but 4 rows. Um, and we're just going to add an np.nan, which is NumPy's version of a um, non-existent value. Yeah, so as we can see here, we have a data frame and basically the same thing, but um, now we have a couple NANs existing. So um, we can say df.isNull to check which of the values are null. So this is going to output a data frame with a bunch of Boolean values, so true and falses. Um, and it's going to have false for whichever ones are not null and then true for whichever ones are, so we can see which ones are null. We can also see that by looking at it, but if we have a more complex data frame, then this is helpful. Um, and we can now filter it based off of this. So we can say drop NA, which is going to drop all of the um, non-existent values or null values. Um, and then we can also say fill and we can fill with a um, particular value or we can fill it with a string. Um, so this, the syntax for this is just going to be df.fill NA. And then in parentheses as a parameter, we can just have um, whatever we want to fill it up with. So in this case, I just said hi. So it's gonna fill in both of those um, NANs with hi. Okay, so now we're gonna do a quick recap on what we did in this video. So we imported the libraries, then we created a data frame um, through which we got the columns and the index. Um, and then we also saw how we can do a sum and then apply a function to um, specific col columns and then get the um, ca value counts and also a list of unique values and the number of unique values and then we saw how we can sort um, values by a column. Um, next, we created another data frame in which there were some missing values, and then we learned how we could work with that and drop it and fill it, and things like that. Well, that's it for now. If you've enjoyed the content in this video, make sure to give it a like and comment down below any questions you may have. I've also included a little activity in the description box that relates to the skills we learned in this video, so I welcome you to try that out as well. If you're new here, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos that'll help you on your journey towards mastering artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.